When learners arrive in grade one, they already have quite a bit of prior knowledge when it comes to fractions that they are not even aware of. This unit looks at some of the ways the concept of fractions is introduced to foundation phase learners in an informal way. The main focus in the early foundation years is to provide opportunities for young learners to explore their environment and to participate in concrete work to discover mathematical concepts. Fractions in foundation phase should start as informal discovery where they learn important aspects of fractions without the pressure of formal calculations and using symbols. Having physical objects to demonstrate fractions is vital in foundation phase. Teachers need to be a facilitating guide in the learner's discovery of fractions. They need to ensure that they are using the correct fractional language when demonstrating fractions. For example, using the correct fraction names such as halves, thirds, quarters, and using words such as divide and equal parts. Teachers should ask their learners guiding questions when they're exploring different shapes and objects to stimulate their thinking in fractional terms. Young children need concrete examples with physical objects to fully understand a concept and to make it more real. And finally, always allow exploration. It is reiterated because of its importance. Do not rush children to learn formal concepts before they have properly explored it in an informal fashion. Children are taught about sharing from a young age. They are told to share their toys, food, art supplies, and so on. And so they arrive at school with a sound concept of the term sharing. And this is how learning fractions begins. For example, if there are two children and there are two balls, it makes sense for them to each have one. Sharing can be demonstrated quite a bit in the foundation phase classroom. Using food to illustrate how sharing equally works is a fun method for learners. Pick a number of children, say six for example, and take an even number of sweets or chocolate and share it amongst the children by giving each child one piece until there are no pieces left. Ask children such as, how many pieces of chocolate was there? How many children were there? Did the children all get the same amount of chocolate? How many pieces did they each get? And tell them that this is called sharing equally. Young learners do not know yet what the word equal means. Describe it as being when things are the exact same shape and size. Give them pictures with equal and unequal parts or cut various foods to make the pieces equal and unequal. Allow the learners to look closely at the parts and compare them to determine whether or not they are equal. It is also important for learners to know and understand that whole refers to the object before it is cut and divided into separate parts. Once learners have established equal parts and a whole, you can start doing a few simple fractions. Show them different fractions and ask them to describe what they notice about them, what they notice about the size and how they've been cut and divided. Length models are one of the simplest ways to compare different fraction sizes.